Howdy guys, Riley SH15 here, and today we're going to be doing the review of the Skullcandy Crusher Wireless. So, these retail for $149, sold directly by Amazon. That's what, that's what I would recommend getting, because don't get from third party sellers, you don't want to risk it, uh, getting a fake or a, or a, a used one or something. But anyway, uh, so let's get into the video. So, let's see what they look like on you. They're my sisters. I uh, just borrowed them for the videos. This is what they look like on the head. But anyway, my one complaint about them compared to all the other crushers is they have the wire sticking out. But just don't let your cat near them, and you should be good. But anyway, the one thing these have over the reason you would want to get another reason you would want to get these over the other crushers, especially the, the wire crushers. Don't even consider those. A lot of headphones are getting rid of the headphone jack. So the reason I would get these is because they you can use the aux the base the base slider with the aux cable when the battery's dead. You can't do that for yet. With, since it's analog slider, the other ones are digital, like with the Evos and the ANCs and the 360s. So and you can't even buy the 360 anymore. So you would only have a choice between the ANCs. The Evos and the wireless, so that's one reason you want to go for these. These have 40 hours, just like the Evos do. That's another reason, and they're like $50 less. They have micro USB, which is one downside, but who really cares? I mean, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's $50 less. You have $50 in your pocket, and uh, they're hit 40 hours. You're only gonna have to be able to charge them like once or twice, once every two weeks, once every week, one to two weeks. So. With me, it's once every two weeks. So with my Evos, because they have 40 hours too. So another thing that sucks about, I mean, one thing that another thing that I don't like about them is the swiveling. I mean, I like that they have the swiveling, but it's not as good as like the Evos, where you can like in the ANCs, where you can like lay them flat on either side. But it's better than not, because at least they can have a little custom more fit. Just it makes the comfort a little bit better, even though they could barely swivel. And the difference between these and the Evos is these are this is black silicone thing at the top, and the Evos is gray. So, and this has leather on the top, and the Evos has suede. And uh, the 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 button is multifunction. It uh turns on the, the headphones, where the all the other crushers, the wireless crusher headphones, have the dedicated power button. But other than that, I mean, <laughs> I would recommend them. They're the cheapest. What 150 for the wireless? Crusher out of all the wireless crushers, I don't even get the wired ones unless you have a phone that has a headphone jack. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I would uh, definitely get these 150 out of a out of a a scale between one and ten. These are a major, major, major go. That's a that's a three major. So that's a pretty high score. I'm using Flossy's score because I like it, and uh, Quad Major is the highest. For me for me too so uh, these are ma a major ma so this is a, a quad major go so I would get these for uh, for 150 or 149 I'll link it in the description below do, do, I would click on buy from new and used from other sellers and click on the ones sold and shipped by Amazon so I'll link these in the description I also lead up a really hard shell case because they don't come with that so <sighs> anyway guys um, these headphones are awesome these are my second pair of crushers, and <laughs> they they don't disappoint. For 150, that's a deal bargain. I mean, I bought them for 200 in 2016, 2017. So 150, that's a pretty good price. And they don't have Bluetooth 5. They have Bluetooth 4.1, and they have AAC and SPC. But that's basically the same codex as the Evos. The only difference is they, the, the, the Evos have the ANCs have. Bluetooth 5 and the, and the ANCs have uh, ABTX, but other than that, <laughs> these are pretty good. They uh, have Bluetooth 4.1 and they don't have the auto off feature like the Evo, so that's the one thing that sucks too. But just remember to turn your headphones off and if you leave them on, they have 40 hours, so it won't really hurt them. So, anyway, guys, uh, I do recommend these for uh, 150 just for the fact that you can use the aux cable with the base feature with the battery dead. That's awesome. So, I'll link these in the description below. These are the the Crusher Ant Crusher wireless headphones. So yeah, guys. And the other difference too is the base is uh, 
not as good, but it's it's still pretty good. Like I love it. Like a lot of YouTubers complain that it feels like it's rubber bands, but I loved it, man. I would recommend it. <laughs> I'd recommend it. I mean, the bass works with the aux with the headphones off. I mean, you can use the aux cable for the Evos. I don't know about the ANSYs because I didn't test it because I returned them out of time because I was having issues and I want to keep them. So uh, the Evos work, but you have to turn the headphones on and then plug the aux in. So always with these, you don't have to have a dead battery. So I'd recommend these for one, 149, 150. I'll link it in the description below. Just be sure to buy it from new, click on new and used sellers and buy it from Am so, ships and sold by amazon.com. Both of them. So anyway, guys, uh, this is my this is my thoughts and opinions on the Crusher Wireless headphones. Let me know what you guys think in the description below. Do you guys have you guys ever used the Crushers? Let me tell you guys, the Crusher headphones are the best bass headphones. Like. Nothing's touching them. But anyway, guys, this is Riley Stage 15 signing up, guys. Have a good one. See ya.